This PowerPoint presentation explains what is ethical hacking, why is ethical hacking being used by most of the organizations, and the steps involved in ethical hacking. Ethical hacking is also known as attack and penetration testing, white hat hacking, red teaming. What is hacking? Hacking is basically a process of breaking into systems for personal or commercial gains, malicious intent causing severe damage to information and assets. Why the term ethical is being used? Ethical means conforming to accepted professional standards of conduct. There are two types of hackers these days. Black hat, these are the bad guys. White hat, these are the good guys. Why ethical hacking? The purpose of ethical hacking is to evaluate the security of a network or system's infrastructure. It entails finding and attempting to exploit any vulnerabilities to determine whether unauthorized access or other malicious activities are possible. Vulnerabilities tend to be found in poor or improper system configuration, known and unknown hardware or software flaws, and operational weaknesses in process or technical countermeasures. What is the importance of ethical hacking? To preserve a system with its authentic information. Information is one of the most valuable assets of an organization. Keeping information secure can protect an organization's image and save an organization a lot of money. Hacking can lead to loss of business for organizations that deal in finance, such as PayPal. Ethical hacking puts them a step ahead of the criminals who would otherwise lead to loss of business. Ethical hacking involves five steps. Number one, preparation. Number two, footprinting. Number three, enumeration and fingerprinting. Number four, identification of vulnerabilities. Number five, attack, exploit the vulnerabilities. Step 1 of the process is preparation, which involves identification of targets such as company websites, mail servers, extranets, etc. Signing of the contract, which involves an agreement on protection against any legal issues, contracts to clearly specific the limits and dangers of the test, specifics on denial of services test, social engineering, etc., time window for attacks, total time for the testing, prior knowledge of the systems, key people who are made aware of the testing. Step 2 of the process is footprinting. Collecting as much information about the target, DNS servers, IP ranges, administrative contacts, problems revealed by administrators. There are various information sources such as search engines, forums, databases, and tools. Step 3 of the process is enumeration and fingerprinting. Specific targets are determined. Identification of services and open ports is done. Operating system enumeration. There are various methods such as banner grabbing, responses to various protocols such as ICMP and TCP commands, ports and services scans such as TCP connect, TCP SYN, TCP FIN, etc. There are tools also such as Nmap, Fscan, Hping, Firewalk, Netcat, TCP dump, SSH, Telnet, SNMP scanner, etc. Step 4 of the process is identification of the vulnerabilities. There are various vulnerabilities which are faced, such as insecure configuration, weak passwords, 
unpatched vulnerabilities in services, operating systems, applications. Possible vulnerabilities in services, operating systems. Insecure programming, weak access control. There are various types of vulnerabilities found, such as unpatched possible vulnerabilities. There are weak passwords, such as default passwords, brute force, social engineering, listening to traffic. There is insecure programming, such as SQL injection, listening to traffic. There is weak access control, using the application logic and SQL injection. There are various tools which can be used to identify the vulnerabilities, such as vulnerability scanners, Nessus, ISS, SARA, SAID. Listening to traffic, such as Ethercap, TCP dump. Password crackers, such as John the Ripper, LC4, PW dump. And intercepting web traffic, such as Achilles, Whisker, Legion. Step 5 of the procedure is attack, which means exploit the vulnerabilities. There are various kinds of attacks which are involved in this process, such as network infrastructure attacks, which involves connecting to the network through modem. Weaknesses in TCP IP are found through NetBIOS, flooding the network to cause DOS DOS. There are operating system attacks which involves attacking authentication systems, exploiting protocol implementations, exploiting insecure configuration, and breaking the file system security. Ethical hacking can be concluded with the following tips and points. The user who has gained the access to information must work ethically. That is, he must maintain the trustworthiness of his work. He must not misuse the information for his personal gains. He must respect the privacy of the organization for which he is working. The user must not crash the systems. Thank you.